One year ago, people in western Alaska were waiting for the water to recede and the winds to calm so they could clean up from one of the most destructive storms to ever hit that region. The remnants of Typhoon Meribach left a wake of damage in communities like Golovin, Hooper Bay, Nome, and many others along the Bering Sea. Today, we look back at the lasting impacts. I woke up to water spraying on my face and it scared the living you know what out of me. The community of Nome hit hard. And to, to stand back and see that mighty ocean 20 feet taller than the town, it was incredible. It, it, it was the scariest thing I've ever been through. This was the high spot of the whole beach and then the high spot started eroding. And then I think my truck got sucked into it. A storm that was a major typhoon just days before, still full of power as it moved into the Bering Sea, slamming Alaska's coastal villages with waves pouring into towns, winds tearing a path, leaving little coastline untouched. It was hitting up above the windows there. I mean, it still hit the window like machine gun just coming out. It was so forceful. What used to be a paved road now turned to dirt. The city of Nome working around the clock to put it back together. I was worried for my family uh, being in the storm. And then my sister lives in Shaktulik, which is sea level. This storm showed a power not seen here in decades. And in Hooper Bay. In my lifetime, this is the first time I've ever seen it really bad. Much of the village's infrastructure couldn't stand up to the storm. This is part of the area where we thought it was high enough. But you could see after that storm, it's, it's not high enough. <laughs> Beach erosion is becoming more common in this part of the state, but this was unprecedented. It's like 70 years worth of erosion at once. That's what it should have looked like as I was an old geezer or even dead. It should have been back in that far, not in just one storm. As the community worked to rebuild, leaders already started looking ahead to future storms, hoping to prepare for future generations. I thought it would take longer, but all of a sudden this storm, it, a wake up call for us to see where should we move. That was such a tough week, and we still think of all of you in Nome, Hooper Bay, Golovin, Chivak, all the communities in Western Alaska hit so hard by that storm.